How we doing guys? Chef David McClure here. We're at Cafe Provençal. We're getting ready for the holidays and one thing I look forward to is Christmas Eve having a big seafood feast. So for this Christmas our menu I added red snapper. Uh, we're going to do it with confit butternut squash, a little endive and plum compote with a little bit of bourbon and a lot of good holiday Christmas spices. So I hope you enjoy and happy holidays. For this dish, we're going to need red snapper, plums, a little bit of bourbon, Belgium endive, or any bitter endive will do. You will also need a little bit of white wine, one tablespoon of butter, olive oil, two tablespoons of chopped garlic, three sprigs of fresh thyme, one large butternut squash, and three to four pearl onions. The most important part of this dish is this red snapper. Place the filet flat on your cutting board, skin down, cut a little piece on the end of the fish at the tail end, which is the smaller end, and then slowly run your knife flat against the skin until you get to the end of the filet. Once this is done, you can cut two three to four ounce pieces of red snapper. Place a saute pan on your stove at medium heat, place your olive oil and butter in the pan, slowly letting it melt. Season your fish with salt and pepper, starting with the skin side down. Once your fish is seasoned, carefully place the fish in the pan. Let it sear for at least two to three minutes on each side. But before you flip your fish, we're going to add the garlic, fresh thyme, stirring it around the fish, you should have enough butter and olive oil in the pan that you can angle your pan, carefully basting the fish. Every now and then, placing some of the garlic and thyme on top of the fish. After about two to three minutes, we're going to add half a cup of white wine just to glaze the pan and have a little more basting liquid. Once this is done, you can place in your oven at 375 degrees to 400 degrees for at least five minutes. Now we can start our compote. For this, you will need your plums, brown sugar, one cup of honey, and a little bit of bourbon, and one to two Belgian endive. So next, we are going to confit our squash. We will only be using the top part of the squash and some of the seeds. So what you wanna do is cut the squash in half, lay it flat on your cutting board, cut the top off, carefully go down the sides with your knife, taking the skin off, and you'll be left with a solid piece of butternut squash. Lay this flat and slice thin circles, which you will then cut in half. Place a medium saute pan on the stove, low heat, with one cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of pink peppercorn. You will also need your cipollini onion, which we are going to slice right in half, keeping it circular. You will need five to six garlic cloves, adding the squash to the pan, we are going to need to let this cook for at least five to six minutes or until your squash has a nice golden brown color on the outside. Moving on to the endive, bourbon, and plum compote. So for this, we're using sugar plums or honey plums. Uh, you can also use dried plums. You will need four to five plums or three cups of dried plums. If you're using fresh plums, cut them in half, slowly going around the pit. Once you have removed the pit, you can lay the halves flat, cut them in four, and then dice into small pieces. Once this is done, we can shave or chiffonade our Belgian endive. All this means is you're cutting really thin strips. Once you do this, you can add your plums and endive into your saucepan. Keep on medium heat, add half a cup of brown sugar, two spoonfuls of your favorite honey, and one shot or roughly an ounce and a half of your favorite bourbon. We're gonna let this cook for at least five to eight minutes. What you're looking for is for the liquid to reduce a little bit, getting thicker. You're looking for almost a syrup-like texture. Set aside your mixture and let cool for at least five minutes. By this time, you have your fish cooked, your squash confit, and your bourbon endive plum compote. For layering this dish or plating it, you're going to lay out your butternut squash on the bottom, then your fish, placing a little bit of the compote on top. I like to take the pearl onions 
placing it around the fish. You can also use some of your butternut squash seeds to garnish with. You can garnish this dish with any of your favorite herbs or if you have any edible flowers, those are always nice. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe from my family to yours. Happy holidays.